Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today here I have with me the Infinix Note 10. This phone was released in uh, like a month ago in Pakistan and it comes at around 25,000 rupees. That's the Pakistani price. So here's the box and it's in the black color. The main specifications of this phone is that it has a G Helio G85, it has a 48 megapixel camera, a front 60 megapixel uh, front camera with a and it's a hole punch design as you can see in front of the box and it comes with 6 GB RAM and 128 GB storage and this is the display size full HD plus and this is one of the main highlights of this phone at this price that mostly the display size is compromised even though some phones come with 6.95 inch display but it does not come with a full HD plus display it normally comes with a full HD which is almost around 720p resolution so it with full hd plus you can go above 1080 uh, above 720 so this is the main highlight and it doesn't have a uh, high refresh rate display but it has a high ref, uh, touch sampling rate because of which you can kind of it uh, you can feel a little bit of smoothness over the standard 60 hertz uh, like this over in uh, on the 60 hertz display the sampling rate is a little less on this it's six, still 60 hertz but it's a better six, 60 hertz it's kind of difficult for some people to understand but this is the f phone in the box and uh, as you can see here, I have the 95 degree black and these are the main highlights on the back, but you can't see it. And this phone has a 5000 mAh battery, which has 18 watt fast charging. For some people nowadays, if even 18 watt is slow, but at least it's decent enough to quickly charge it. So in this video, I'll unbox this phone and I'll give you my impression of this phone. Impression and some kind of a mini review of like of just turning after turning out what I feel about it the software and everything as you know that I like the main thing that matters to me is the software of the phone so I'll unbox it here for you in this video so you can see it's just slided off this is the main cover So here you can see the phone itself and the sticker on this phone it highlights the main part like the 18 watt fast charging 16 megapixel front camera the 48 megapixel back camera the G85 the, uh, and you some people might be confused like oh, why is super fluid display written even though it's not a uh, high refresh rate display the reason they're marketing this as a super fluid display is because of that touch sampling it has a 180 hertz touch sampling rate on a 60 hertz display so it's kind of it's a very technical kind of with uh, point which most people might find it hard to understand but i uh, once i turn it on then i will try to show it to you even even on video it's hard to show it to you like in the only a person using the phone physically is, can understand this uh, touch sampling rate so here you can see the phone itself this is the back it's a it has a plastic back but it's okay for this price and even like here they have shown like uh, the the sim situation like sim 1 sim 2 the sd card slot and this is a triple camera setup like it's a sim standard 40 megapixel, 48 megapixel camera need 8 megapixel uh, macro camera 2 megapixel depth camera that some something like that so this is so you can look here the, this is the setup of it and i'll keep the phone on the side like you can see it here uh, this is what you get in the box from infinix like when you get the phone this is the service card and maybe this is yeah so you can see this is the uh, cover that comes this is this one comes with the phone you don't have to buy it separately this is a this is some a join x club card and this is a, a screen protector mostly most companies they in, in, uh, install this screen protector on the phone when it comes but this company did not, they, at least they gave it with the phone. This is this is what you get, the document, paperwork, this is the warranty card, and this is the case. It's a uh, TPU case, a standard one, but at least this one comes, even if you don't like this case, at least for the beginning you can have it, so that you can keep the phone protected, no scratches, no nothing like that. And you can even install the screen protector, and for at least initially, till the time you find a proper, you know, tampered glass screen protector for this phone. So at least it's a good getting it out of the box. This is the 18 watt charging brick. And this is the USB type C cable. This is this is another thing like a lot of phones and right now they come at least with USB type C micro USB is like 
if you uh, like it's now kind of a down point for so most of the phones that come with it at this price even at 20000 so this is a 25000 rupees phone and comes with usb type c so it's keeping up with you know it's a good kind of future proofing and rest is like the documentation of x club and all those this is kind of a local thing the sim removal tool as you can see it in the box this so this is the things that come with with the phone in the box So here you saw the content that comes with the phone the screen protector the cover the warranty card and it's a kind of a nice uh, uh, you know unboxing experience for the phone So I'll just move this out of the camera's view and so we can f focus our attention on the phone itself so this is the front I'll remove this cover and the back now i'll give you a look of this phone with the case on it so that you can see how it fits on the phone some phone cases come with some uh, uh, v tube by separately with some spaces or doesn't you know there's a space uh, from here so you can see that it fits perfectly since this is the phone which came from Infinix and the case also came with the phone so obviously it will be a snugly fit now i'll turn it on and i'll set this phone up and in then uh, now uh, within a few seconds you'll see the phone once it's set up now i started this phone up and now it's on its setup screen and as you can see here i don't know if the camera will focus on this or not but here you can see it's list is written based on android 11 this is one of the things that i like about this phone even though this comes with a G Helio G85, at least it comes with Android 11 out of the box. Now I'll set it up. Here you can see that I took out the SIM slot of this phone and you can see that here it has a rubber gasket. Even though this phone does not have an IP, you know, IP rating, but at least for a little bit of splash proof, a little bit of splashing, at least it has some protection around it. And this is the SIM slot, which I showed you from, uh, from the sticker on the back of the phone. This is the SD card, this one. And the rest is uh, the, the the same slots. So even though this phone comes with a 128 GB storage, most people won't need uh, the you know the memory card since this phone comes with ample amount of storage. But still, if some you know people need some data uh, information on the memory card so that they can easily uh, switch between phones. So it's a good thing it comes with this option as well for those people. Even if they're rare, at least the option is available. This is midway setup like the initial setup and I'll go through around the phone a little bit since it's taking a little bit of time this is the USB type C port the headphone jack this is the speaker and this is do, uh, the stereo speaker this is the camera on the back this is the and the good thing is it doesn't have a back fingerprint scanner it has a side power uh, the power button is the fingerprint scanner this is the volume button so and, and here you can look at the the look of the hole punch it's a big hole punch but at least at this price you get you still get a hole punch and at least the bezels are a lot thinner than a lot of other smartphone companies so this is you can on this page you can see because of the white display like uh, of what uh, how big the screen is and what is the bezel situation and i'm i'm very happy that what infinix is doing with this phone at this price hey guys so i'm back so this is the setup this is just the initial setup just after you know when i finish adding my accounts this is the sound notification sounds like right now it just got to the home screen and it's slowly setting up some background applications this is what the look you will get out of the box on the f uh, on the phone and this is everything like the permission it's asking and everything and one thing about good thing about happy some like yes a lot of people will not like this uh, look or maybe the icons but at least because of having android 11 the main benefit you're getting is like you can easily just change the you know the icon they get an icon pack put it like set it as in uh, default icon pack you can get a good look out of this phone the good the main reason i like the thing i like about android 11 is the basic thing like you can uh, install any icon pack you want get it from the play store install it and it, you can get a unique look on your phone so maybe after you know just after this video i might you know install some other icon pack or even like you know the gesture navigation i don't like the buttons anymore and everything even the size of uh, these things i will change these things and uh, the my initial impression is that like this even the camera app some people will say that this phone uh, camera app is not that great but at least for at this price you get a lot of options like when you click this arrow like look at this like this is 
all the options that you get from the default camera i have the super night ar shots beauty mo camera like you a lot of people might even use all these modes but it's good that you have it like for some rare scenarios where you might you want to use it and i the only best competitor of this phone is my daily driver right now which is the nazo 30a internally it is very similar to the nazo 30a other than the camera the display the touch sampling rate even the hole punch the look is very different so it will be very interesting comparison and i'll tell you my opinion in that video what i think about those which is better from those two phone which should phone should, for which phone you should go right now all those options but at least the look of this phone i like it a lot the look the even from the back even with the case i like the look a lot so my initial impression is that for the price like for 25000 and with run android 11 out of the box you get the customization you get a very big display which you will not get at this price you normally at this price you'll get a 6.5 inch display with a 720p display this is at almost a 1080p display so that's an already a plus point yeah the battery is less than that but you have a fast charging so there is some good and bad but at least in a, in my first look i like this phone a lot from the back from the front from every angle you can think about it like even the usb type c that it even has that the dual uh, you know dual audio like from the audio comes from the bottom and from the top from the earpiece so i'll test every like i'll test uh, both of those phones the nazo 30a and this phone in like the speaker quality uh, maybe the display quality and what i overall think about both those phones which is which is better and if if both are better and then which is which phone is for which person which category like what they're looking for and a lot of people you know this is like the one of those phones that uh, companies that they're trying their best to you know spread out to the international market they, like this phone is available even outside of pakistan outside of asia like uh, in the us the canada at, at a better prices so overall you can get this phone almost at anywhere and the price is also good they're going international but not even like you know some companies they do what they do is they increase the price of their phone which go which which they intend to go internationally so that way they lose their lot of their customers in that way so i think my initial opinion is that for 25000 you get a, a lot of, a good amount of you know phone the best you know the performance the display uh, even the touch sampling rate the battery the camera even a camera is an upgrade and the you know this whole punch a lot of people are what i think is a lot of people are against this uh, you know the notch but they're they're okay with a whole punch because it gets out of their way a lot more easier than a notch so i'll use it and i'll tell you my opinion in when i compare both of those phones the one the nazo 30a with this so the, because that phone has a notch in it so i'll give my overall experience and what i think about both of those phones so my opinion about this phone right now this phone is that if you're in a market for a phone that looks good has a decent specifications and can run very good for you and it's not that much of a high uh, you know more in a, out of your budget so i think you should get it and even if you're one of those persons who's you know he doesn't like the look of the sort like i if, if you ask me maybe there is some like the icon style i might not like it but because of android 11 i am easy with it because i can easily apply any icon pack and make it my own so i think you should get it any person looking for a good phone at least right now in the market this phone is like the latest it comes with android 11 out of the box so it will be supported for one or two years maybe but at least you'll get a good experience and you should get it if you're looking for a phone right now with a decent specification with a good look with a good camera and with a lot of options like like some people might say this it's absurd with how much options they have in this phone so you should get it so that's my opinion about this phone and my first impression my uh, kind of my full uh, like you know kind of a review and a comparison i'll give you in my next video which will be with the uh, comparison with the nazo 30a uh, with this phone so that's all for today thank you allah hafiz